Welcome back, friends. I'm Juliet, and thank you for joining me today for my Yoga for the Beginners practice. I'm so glad that you decide to explore all the benefits which yoga has to offer for us. Definitely heal and make our physical body stronger and help our emotional body to release stress and anxiety so we can move through this life more calmly, easily, freely and enjoy everything what the life has to offer for us. Today practice we will focus on simple asanas, correct alignments and the basic flows. All you will need your mat, your blocks, little strap or towel, your commitment, your willingness to learn, I will guide you through all the modifications and we will have a joyful and effective practice together. So let's begin. All right team, we will begin seated. So let's begin seated and close our eyes and just set a good loving Positive intentions as always for this practice. You did really good on the first practice. So let's open our heart to receive. Take a good quality inhalations through your nose, exhalations through your nose. Look inside and find that precious connection, mind, body, and the true self. Let's open our eyes and reach all the way up. And we will begin our seated warm up. We will begin it up here just by reaching up. And exhalation. And reach up. Exhalation. Let's do it one more. Reach up and connect both hands above the head. Maybe take them upside down if you can. Reach all the way in, expand through your heart all the way nice and big and then draw the hands up front of the forehead. Do it a couple more times, guys. Exhalation. In, up. And exhalation again. Draw the navel in. We're using the belly breathing. And this time, let's go ahead and disconnect the arms and continue with the shoulder rolls today. Waking up those shoulders, give them a good quality rolls, any direction team, forward or backwards, right or left, arms separate if you want. Let's reverse the shoulders just making sure that we wake them up. Let's go ahead and continue with the little lateral bands. Definitely keep your hips leveled, right? And don't Slouch the shoulders, keep the heart up and open towards the ceiling. Arms are strong and engaged, I mean, as much as we possibly can. And just a couple more. Mm -hmm. And let's stop right here. And today we will continue with a little circle right above, right above the hips. So start circling the upper bodies with the waistline and you can help yourself with the hands touching the round. Let's do one or two more circles, expand it and then go ahead and reverse it to the other side, guys. Don't worry how your body looks in this room. Just go ahead and circle it. We're making it comfortable. Mm -hmm. Waking up the energy in the pelvic floor, in the abdominal area, and then let's come back all the way to the center. Very, very good, guys. So let's do a few neck stretches today. We just do a couple right and left, left and right side. Draw the ear towards the shoulder. Nod the shoulder towards your ear, right? So gently release and release. And now let's do a little bit slower and hold. Inhalation, exhalation, and relax the shoulders. Let them drop. Just hold it and let's do it to the other side. Relax the shoulders. Let them drop and be open. And just a couple more breaths. And take it back. Let's do a front knock. 
in the back in the front in the back just a few mm -hmm. good work guys and let's go ahead and do the half circles and all the way half I mean not even a half a quarter all the way to the other side and all the way to the right shoulder and then all the way to the left shoulder let's do just a couple more to one side and then another side very good job very good guys so let's take the right hand and put it on top on the left shoulder on top on top on, on the left ear and press it gently at the same time once you're pressing gently on that ear side of your head you draw the shoulders away down towards the floor not too much not too hard just a gentle straight into the opposite direction hand on the floor and straighten like a resistance stretching the hand is pushing on top on the half of the hand the ear and the shoulder is drawing itself down very nice good work guys so let's go ahead and take the right foot behind so we're gonna take it behind and find ourselves in a deer pose. We're gonna do a few half spinal twists here. So look above the left shoulder, then look above the right shoulder, then again look above the left shoulder, and gently look above the right shoulder. Let's do just a couple more on each side. Mm -hmm. And on exhalation, soft rotation one more very good and one more guys good job very nice let's take the both hands bring them behind the hips relax your feet guys and see if you can just expand to begin with with the chest with the shoulders relaxing the neck if that's going pretty good and we're gonna go ahead and lift those hips just slightly and then take them back down lift the hips expand the heart and bring them back let's do it a couple more times lift the hips expand the heart and bring them back let's do it again rising the energy again in the pelvic floor building the good foundation and let's go ahead take it back make sure guys that you sit comfortably and equally and you can be up here elbows on the floor or if it's going really good with you today go ahead and fold down through the hip flexor and just lay down forward forehead on the ground you can also guys use the block let me show you underneath this forehead just doing it like this and that's gonna help you to rest a little bit more if you're struggling with that forward fold so we're gonna hold it just for the few breaths. Make sure that your ankles are soft, hands, elbows, close your eyes, and just rest there. Mm -hmm. And then come on back up with me. We will do this flow from the other side. Before that, let's just extend this right leg. And we're just gonna do a few stretches up here. So just turn, so just turn your body towards the right leg, and see if you can reach the toes. If you can't reach the toes, you can use that strap which we used the first class, or you can just be here and just sit in here. So you don't have to reach those toes at all, but maybe you will use this strap or just sit up tall. Close your eyes and just breathe for a few breaths. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose as well. And then return back. We're gonna bring this right up front and left is gonna go behind, guys. So again, we're gonna do a few side twists. Now look behind the left, keep that back tall. Now look again behind the right. It doesn't have to be deep, far straight. And again, the behind the left. And each and every time, maybe, you can open a little bit deeper. And then 
a little bit deeper. Let's do one more from each side. And again. Very good. Good job, guys. So let's go ahead and take the hands behind the hips, just as we did on that other direction. So to exit here, stop and begin with a little upper body openings, just up chest and the soft neck. Now, if you can lift those hips a little bit higher and expand through the hips together with the upper body, that's great. If not, not today, don't worry about it. Just do the upper body expanded heart and gently bring it back. And let's do one more. Very good. It feels so good to bring some space into that body. Now we will come back to the center. Make sure that you sit equally and we're ready to start. Fold forward, guys. Support yourself up here. Remember I showed you to use the block underneath the forehead. You can be on your forearms. Please don't compromise the back and don't do this. We want to dive down with the belly. We want to dive down with the belly. And we will just spend here a few nurturing, slow breathing cycles. Do not hurry up. If your body is taking you, throwing you off the asana, come back, rise, readjust, and then come back for the few more breaths. And let's just stay here for one or two more. And then slowly return back. Let's extend our left leg this time. Sit up and tall comfortably and take your body to the side. See how it feels, guys? And you don't have to touch those toes right away. You don't even have to touch your ankles. You might sit just up here or you can, as I showed you before, just use that strap and just help yourself with that strap. Strap is a great tool. I'm gonna put it away for right now. And we're just holding it. I'm just gonna give it a few breaths here. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Let's return slowly back. And we're gonna make a transfer to the tabletop. So we did practice the tabletop on the previous class, but it's a very good warm-up position. We can do a lot of good things here for our body. So wrist, elbow, and shoulder. So one on top and another. Let's return back. See if you remember cat and cow pose. We're going to reach the chest up, drop the belly, relax the neck on the way down, drop the head, take the navel up and in, and take it up again, inhalation, exhalation, just a few movements up and down here. Mm -hmm. In and out through the nose. Very good. Let's go ahead and reach. The right arm up, straight it, take it behind your back. If you can take it behind your back, just maybe on the waistline. Maybe you can take it to the opposite hip and gently lay that heart on the floor. It's a little bit deep, so you don't have to go all the way up there. You just can support yourself on the forearm and just be right there with me. Close your eyes. And just give it a few breaths, a few quality breaths. Mm -hmm. Come on back up and we will do the same thing from the other side. Let's reach all the way, expand through the chest, through the hips, through the heart. And take that arm behind the back on the waistline on, or on the opposite hip. Same thing. Sit back on your heels, drop the chest or stay on the forearm. Just do what you can today. It's all about exploring, doing what we can, and we gently, slowly, step by step, become stronger. Come on back up and release the hips on the floor. Yesterday, we did a flow when we come up, remember, from the top to the up dog or cobra or halfway through even. 
we're gonna do a little bit differently today so we're gonna have our elbows and hands on the floor give yourself a good straight and then slowly above the floor we're gonna start to move to the front now you don't have to come all the way up if you can rise up expand through the heart and then slowly through the top take it back on your heels let's do it a few more times you might catch up a little bit speed and do it faster and then you can and then you can do a few more than i do or move slowly or slower than me and again right above the floor try not to skip the full compartments of your back if something doesn't let you move through there is a reason for that we want to listen explore see what else we can do to heels it back let's stop up here and we're going to do a few little movements here now if you have to be with your hands farther or even on your elbows you can do that we're going to start to open the back a little bit deeper. so just a little elbow bend and gaze towards the elbow little elbow bend and gaze towards the elbow little elbow bend and gaze down a couple more breeze very nice guys let's slowly make a transition back to the tabletop and wiggle those hips side to side like you windshield in the hips towards the floor doesn't have to go all the way down towards the ground at all it can be the halfway through just making sure that that back and hips feeling right mm -hmm. back to the center guys let's begin with a little leg straightest back draws that knee tnt as lower belly nose reach one more time reach and towards the nose or belly reach towards the nose or belly and hold guys hold this with me just a few breaths slowly carry that leg outside and you will find yourself in the basic prep for the gate pose we are not going to do it right now but i wanted you but i want to bring your attention to that so knee it directly underneath the hip and the heel on extended leg slightly outside toe slightly in so let's just fold forward right here and rest with a few breaths so you can definitely put the block underneath here and that's going to help you to stay a little bit more rested without stress on the hands wrist and the shoulders however if you very flexible and you can sink down through the shoulders make sure that you don't push yourself you rather relax and release the tendon in upper body in order to get there make sure that you're using guys your belly breathing and let's gently rise up we're gonna do a few leg reaches on the other side so reach draw that knee chin chest or belly and reach again knee chin chest or belly reach guys again knee chin chest or belly reach we're gonna hold together guys we're gonna hold 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 knee towards the nose or belly wherever you can reach and then gently step away guys knee directly underneath the hip the, the leg which is on your knee and heel outside toes in and let's fold down use your block stay on your forearms totally fine or rest that heart on the floor don't forget to use your belly breathing and expand extend and release the tension from the chest Breathe, guys. Very good. And just a breath or two, wiggle the tail, make sure your body is rested, relaxed. Come back with me. Today I will introduce you to the flow tabletop to a down dog. So let's extend those knees and go to our first down dog today. Please lift your heels and bend your knees if it feels like to do it your back is your priority guys 
and then bend your right knee bend your left knee a little bit and right again and left again and then slowly dive back down to your tabletop open up and take it back to your downward facing dog extend the back relax the neck back to the tabletop in your down dog guys you don't have to extend those knees all the way through take a look you can always keep them slightly bent and heel lifted push the weight away from the hands back to the hips guys that's really important not to feel your shoulders and wrists super overloaded and just a couple more times Relax, restore, release, and hold the way back down. Exhalation. One more time. Reach, hop back. And exhalation back on the floor. Let's try to hold the balance again today. Arm and leg. And today, to our balance, we're going to add a little bind. So if you can reach the ankle, that is actually excellent because that's not easy you can also use the strap or towel with a little band and just get it up on it if you can't reach that's going to be very helpful and we just have a few breaths up here i know guys i know take it slowly back round the spine relax the neck let's do other side hold keep on reaching Lengthening the body, pulls the navel in, long extended spine, strong arms guys, strong legs. Use the loop, use the strap, use your hand if you can reach. Keep on breathing. In and out through that nose. Very good. And just a breath or two. Take it all the way down, relax the neck. All the way up. And let's rest in a child pose. Your child pose is always here for you guys. So rest in your child pose whenever you need. Don't wait for me to take you there. And just a few breaths. Good work, guys. Come on back up. Take your hands. Downward facing dog. Let's learn a little bit about the chair pose today. So we're going to look forward, soften the knees, and just step forward. Use your blocks for the halfway lift. It's very effective. Tool again to use for the practice. You can also, guys, use your shins and do it like that if you want, but I would love you to use a block. So reach halfway through. And full forward fold, Uttanasana. Again, full, full, full forward fold is not for everyone. So what you can do as a beginner, you can always bend your knees. If you actually even go to the life class and they take you forward, they take you to the forward fold, bend your knees and grab your elbows. That's gonna be your little modification. As you grow in your practice, you will take your hands farther, fold a little bit deeper. Let's reach halfway through, bend those knees, Shift the weight a little bit back towards the heels. Why are we doing that? So you don't load your knees, right? So that way you can take your weight a little bit away from the toes, from the front of your feet. This is challenging pose. So you can always take your hands up front of your heart in your chair pose, unless you're ready to take them along your ears <clears throat> and lead up from the heart. Belly in, weight slightly away from your toes. Let's sweep those arms and coming up. Your chair pose doesn't have to be a low chair, but you have to lift from the heart. Little back bend, Tadasana or mountain pose. In other pose, we're gonna learn today Tadasana when your both feet are together and firmly on the ground, guys. Navel. Lift it and in towards the spine. We're not slouching the shoulders. Let's practice a little bit balance. Reach up. Take your hands namaste. And lift your heels off the ground. Very challenging. Slowly sweep those arms again. Send those heels back on the floor. 
Utkata Asana or Chair Pose. Knees away from the toes, lengthen in that spine, leading up through the heart. Big breath, big sweep, hips forward, heart up, back bend. In exhalation, guys, to your forward fold. Relax, restore, practice your forward fold. The way I showed you, you can grab your elbows, bend your knees. Reach halfway. We're going to step back slow. If it needs to be a few steps, it needs to be a few steps. Take your knees on the floor today. We're going to go our, for our Chaturanga Dandasana, our push-up, yogic push-up. Eventually, we're going to be able to do it on our feet and hands just in a full plank. For right now, I want you to do it on your knees. Relax your neck. Drop that crown. Let's do the chair pose again. Look forward. Bend your knees, guys. Step forward. In next practices, as you grow, we're going to be hopping forward. Look halfway. Fold. Forward. Fold. You're doing great. Look halfway through. Bend those knees. Utkata Asana. Tear pose. Lead up through your heart. Breathe actively two or three breaths. Then sweep those arms and take it to the little back bend. And then fold. Forward right fold. All the way through. Let's look halfway through again. Bend those knees. Utkata Asana. Sweep those arms. We're going to go to Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Reach. Take yourself on the tippy toes, practicing that balance. And slowly rise the arms, heels on the floor. Back to the chair pose, guys. Knees away from the toes. Shift the weight more on your heels. Lead up with the heart. Sweep. Take a little back bend. Pull forward, pull. Uttanasana your way. Look halfway through, guys. Plant your hands. Step back. Remember our chaturanga. Bend your knees. Push down. Mm -hmm. Reach up. And slowly to your downward facing dog if you can. Keep on breathing. Let's bend one knee at a time. Check your wrist, check your hands. Make sure there is no weight on your wrist and shoulders too much. Shoulder blades apart, wider spine. And do a couple more. And one more. Very good. Slowly take your knees on the floor. Come on up with me. We already did a couple back bends, so let's do a couple more in the Come on, so basic Ushtrasana. Let's reach arms up. And we will begin by drawing the hand towards the same heels as the arm is or towards the back. You reach up and open. Up and open. If that's going good for you today, please don't overdo it. Then take it a little bit deeper. Let's repose it first. We're gonna sit back in a little preparation for the rabbit pose. I'm gonna show you. It's not a full rabbit pose, but now you would know when I say something like that, you would know what I mean. And let's come back up, reach all the way up. Draw the other hand towards the same ankle. If that is too much, you're gonna take it on your back, guys. Square the hips, take the chest up and forward, reach up and open. And prep for the rabbit pose. All the way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job, everyone. Come on back to your tabletop. And sweep your hips in the circle. Just to release the tendon from the back bends we did in basic Ushtrasana or camel pose. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So let's crisscross our ankles and make our way to the seated position. So let's go ahead and reach up and fold forward just a little bit. 
use a strap remember if you can read you can always use your strap yogi strap this is not a yoga strap but that's good enough for demonstration and eventually you're going to be able to go deeper i want you to focus on the long extended back and diving down opening the hip flexor just a gentle 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 fold forward very good it's a very nurturing asana for the back mm -hmm. let's come on back and we will do the preparation for the boat pose now in our next class i will introduce you to the basic boat pose maybe we we, we can do it we, we can start to do it today as well so lifted heart belly in strong core guys for the boat you really need to source that energy from the center so we're just going to take both hands and just hold it like up open up the chest find for a good start was a good for and we're going to do another one so grab that ankle just hold it take your both hands on the floor relax and restore reach all the way up fold forward again Very nice. just remember use a strap or you don't have to go super low if you have a back injuries bend your knees come on back so let's do it again but this time arms lifted off the ground if that's a little bit too much then take them back on the floor try to hold the ankle 90 degrees above the floor and let's do another side mm -hmm. Core is active, guys. Beautiful. Reach all the way up and full forward fold. Mm -hmm. And let's give a try to our basic pose. So we're gonna take both feet up, hands on the ground, ankles, guys, 90 degrees above the floor, and just keep holding it, my friends. A few more breaths. Three and two and one and very good crisscross your feet lengthen the spine all the way bring the hands on your knees and a few seated cat and cow pose remember we talked about it you can do the cat and cows in the different positions different body positions prone supine seated standard so this is one of those postures we can carry around with the dimensions and just one more very good job guys so let's go ahead and just sit up and tall with a boss feet crest crossed where we started today close your eyes guys and bring attention to your breath to the inner breath to that awareness in the body it is a true you, which is very unique, very special. The body, mind, and the true self. It's very connected. It is a, it is a one. So let's find that precious connection within. And let's open our eyes and take our arms up. Draw everything you want to draw inside your heart, the health, the commitment, the passion, and close your eyes again. Hold your hands up front of the heart, smile with that heart, and flow through the rest of your day with a true, unshakable peace inside. Namaste, guys. Wonderful job, everybody. Thank you for joining me this beginner level practice today. We're going to grow together. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to follow the channel for more exciting videos every single week and I will see you soon.